Hey, good morning, everyone. To I'm an early start on this because um, we're heading on a little day trip. So um, to a place called Mora, New Mexico. So anyway, um, today is day four of 21 days to releasing fear of the future, and the request was about fear of never getting mobility back and thus independence. So I mean, really, if you think about it, mobility means independence. So um, if you're tapping through this and you don't necessarily have a mobility issue as far as that, think about losing independence. So which really piggybacks in a lot of ways with COVID and being sheltered at home and all that. In a, in a lot of ways, many people have lost independence. So, but if you have, so you can use this tapping either way. If, if you have loss of mobility, hey Beth, um, and then the loss of independence. So for those of you that might not have the loss of mobility, think about loss of independence. And let's tap, great topic by the way. So Karate Chop, even though I have this fear that might border on terror, what if I never get my mobility back? What if I'm bound to walk with a walker the rest of my life? That thought terrifies me. And it creeps in again and again. I choose to acknowledge I feel this way now. Even though I'm always kind of tuning in to what's happening in my body. And I don't really feel I'm seeing improvement. In fact, I might even think I'm going backwards. So then I get discouraged. And the fear creeps in. What if I lose my mobility and independence forever? Oh, these thoughts suck. I choose to acknowledge my feelings now and just go to the eyebrow. Every time I tune in, I'm not seeing improvement. So I'm really afraid that I'm never going to get my mobility back. Never be independent again. And those are terrifying thoughts. And when I feel like I'm not making progress, I get discouraged. And then that bully in my brain sneaks in with worst case scenarios, dire consequences, the bully in my brain brings me the total shit show. And then I start to ruminate on these thoughts. And I circle the drain. And I don't want to judge myself for this. Because it's so easy to do this. And it's actually practiced a lot in our culture. So what if I could consider forgiving myself for having these thoughts? 
I'm probably judging myself for them. Wishing I wasn't thinking this way. But I am. And what if I can remind myself I can't stop these thoughts, but I can interrupt them. Even when I'm not seeing progress. And what if what's possible is much like any seed under the ground All kinds of things are happening internally that aren't visible evidence to me that I'm improving. And what if by catching myself in the act when I can and I interrupt those thoughts. I interrupt the shit show. And over time, I start to feel relief. It's way too big of a leap emotionally to go from the pit of despair to disappointment, to, oh, it's all gonna be okay. I physiologically can't do that. But if I take pressure off of myself and just try to find relief, just relief, from the incessant mind chatter that's telling me worst case scenario. What if that makes a huge difference over time? And I do start to feel relief. And I do find I'm relaxing more. And what if that's the best thing I can do for my body? Because the healing journey it's taking has the space to renew me. Body, mind, and spirit. Take a breath. Um, just a couple things to share. Uh, God, a number of years ago, probably 15 years ago when we were living in Taos, I had, um, had taken a couple pretty bad mountain bike spills and I had this pinching up in my upper like left shoulder blade. So I went to the chiropractor and he's like, oh, you have a rib lodged into a muscle. <laughs> I'm like, what? This was right over the holidays. So he said, he told me, I'm going to dislodge it, but it's like the piano that's trying to fine tune itself. It's going to sound, feel out of sync for quite a while because our bodies are pretty quick to adapt and compensate. And sometimes they compensate to try and help us heal, but without the, you know, say the proper alignment, um, it, it, it's out of place. And I, let me tell you, <laughs> When he adjusted me, I literally thought, this is why I think people tend to hate chiropractors, but I, I totally trusted this guy. I'd been seeing him for years and I knew what he was doing. And um, I literally was felt crippled. I literally was, it took my breath away and I, I was hunched over for over three weeks. I was um, 
going through that, even my daughter was crying when she would see me. She was really, you know, pretty young then. And um, I just, it was like, I, I could barely move. And, um, but I kept trusting him and every single day I went to his office and he was doing adjustments, micro adjustments, micro adjustments. And then um, I didn't have tapping back then. So I literally went through all that terror and like, oh my God, like what if this, I trusted him, but I was like, what if my body just doesn't do this right? And eventually it started to heal. And what he said to me too is, Marty, your back is probably going to be a lot better off because of the accident than it was before. And and that became true. And then the other thing, Beth, and um, just these are the only ways that I can compare it. And I, I'm sure what you're going through is is, is so big for you. Hey, hey Ruth, um, what I wanted, so I'm in this midst of this cleanse and I'm about two weeks into it now. And, and I just relate to it this way where it's like, Oh my God, like, well, when you're doing a candida cleanse, if you're, if you're doing it properly, your symptoms are going to get a ton worse before they get better. And oh my God, that has been so true for me. And then I've had these moments where I'm like, oh, okay, am I turning a corner here? <sighs> nope, guess I'm not. And then I'll have another moment. Am I turning a corner? <sighs> no, I'm not. And I so understand, like, the disappointment, the fear, the stuff that can come up around that from this way. Sorry. Little, I have little beans in my life, so Grace wants to come in and say hello. And and I, I would say the last two days now, I'm feeling this sense of, okay, it's this micro sense of something shifting here. And it's not, it's a micro sense. And what I've done, <laughs> is I've been tapping every day, just like for a, a bit. It's not like I'm spending a lot of time doing it, but in also catching myself in the act of those, you know, the shit show, I like to call it the shit show, the, the bully likes to tell you everything that's going to go wrong. And again, it can sound demonic. It can sound completely reasonable and everything in between. Well, you know, I mean, if you haven't found mobility now, like you're probably never going to find it. I mean, the longer it takes, the less likely, and you hear all the statistics and everything the experts tell you, and you can terrify yourself. I mean, I was I, when I was Googling some stuff, and I've always heard this, don't Google stuff, but I do. And um, I was like, oh my God, like I was reading long-term effects if you don't you know, repair, re repair your gut. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> but I, so I would tap through that. And, and that's what I would say is the only, the best thing I know to do is just to keep the interruption going. Because if we put pressure on ourselves to like, again, I got to think positive about this. I got to think happy. You actually can't. You can't think positive when you've got a ton of momentum going in a direction that's been like, oh God. And then the other thing is when you get the body cues or the evidence, maybe you try to get up and you try to move and it's like, oh God, I'm stiffer or whatever it is. When you can, that's the perfect time, even if you use mental noting to, to say something like, you know, fear, just name it or, you know, um, pu punishment, whatever it is, because we can punish ourselves with our thoughts, not, not intending to, but then the key is then we judge ourselves for like, why can't I get myself out of this? And I've tapped on this already and why hasn't it shifted? And we're not cookie cutter. And some things have way more momentum than others. And that's to me why they can take longer. People can have decades of momentum going, decades. And even though I, I, I truly believe tapping's a turbocharged way to go through that, a turbocharged way with decades of momentum might not seem like, oh, you know, that's a turbocharged way. So my thoughts with that too is if this resonated with you, tap on this tapping as many times as you need to. And then just when you can be mindful when you can not sit around all day. Oh, am I having a thought about this? It would drive you crazy is just go, oh, God, there it is. There's that thought. And you don't have to catch this. 
like all day long. There's, I would tell you most of the time I don't catch my thoughts, but all of a sudden I notice like I'm not feeling good and I catch it and I'm like, oh, that's the, that is the best time that you can interrupt that momentum. And then the more you do, you'll, I've always said this, my progression with tapping has always been, oh my God, I, I started noticing thoughts that I wasn't having anymore and behaviors that I wasn't doing anymore. And then I started to notice better thoughts replacing things because, and then better behaviors. So um, Beth, thanks for the topic, it's awesome. And let me say hi to you, Ruth, Marsha, I got two Marshas spelled the same way, I love it. Um, Linda and Beth, wonderful topic. And so this is Friday, day four, so we'll pick up day five on Monday and we'll be back so you can go back and go through the, the four that are here. Um, and again, I'll download this on to um, upload this proper term onto YouTube as well as soon as I'm done with it, so it'll be there as well. And then we'll be, see you back here Monday um, and we'll, we'll tap again. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Oh, thank <laughs> Marsha, right? I put this really red lipstick on today. My husband was like, wow. <laughs> like, I, I was like, I, why go through life unnoticed? I was like, I'm going to try red lipsticks today. Thanks, Marsha. That's hilarious. Bye. Take care. Made me laugh. That's awesome.